a little bit further, but there's something right in front of me. Hey everybody, this is Bernie here on Urbex TV and you're in for a treat, another treat today. We're doing another exploration, well I'm doing another exploration of a abandoned site uh, that's in the middle of the woods. It's, this place is in the middle of nowhere um, and uh, I came across this from uh, some fellow uh, explorers on uh, a website that I follow and I want to thank these guys and give them a shout out. Um, I don't know their names, but um, I will, you know, say thank you. Uh, I will share the link to you guys so you can come and check out my video. So um, I got to go through this here and um, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I checked my map. I'm really not that far, but I still have a ways to go without trying to get noticed. Like everything I touch is just rotten. You really need some good footwear to get through this. I keep looking and it's just water everywhere and I can hear horses. Okay, it's the dog I'm worrying about. I just think I ate a whole bunch of bugs. <sighs> Protein. We got helicopters coming. like something 
thing's been through here. Maybe a deer or something. guys go right now. I'm gonna try to see if I get across. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, I made it a little bit further, but there's something right in front of me. I don't know what the it is, but it's big. Hopefully it's like a groundhog or something. Oh, great. I don't know what the it is right in here. Try to avoid it. Whatever it is. Right now, I am sweating profusely. The thing is, getting there may be half the battle, but the other half is getting back. should be just up ahead. I can't climb mountains or hills, but we're almost there. So I made it here and whatever's left here, not much. As you can see here, there's just a couple of chairs left behind. There does seem to be a building just over over here I don't know if they're planning on tearing this all down completely but we'll see what's left wow that's good doing to me it looks like a head looking out at you what the hell Oh, we're gonna have to go check that out anyway. So look, you can see here, all this is kind of the outdoor area where all the end below is the steps. So we're gonna go over and take a look. All right, so it looks like this place is locked up. I don't know if there's another entrance. Seems to be a fence and a road that leads to somewhere. We're going around here, around the back area. 
this is kind of crazy. I can't believe that a place like this exists in the middle of the woods. They had electricity here as well. You can see they had it all powered up. And this was the stage. So I'm, I just had to take off my sweater. I'm like sweating so much. It's just crazy. So I'm having my juice box get a little rehydrated. I had a delicious ham and cheese sandwich. So I'm gonna wrap up this video guys. Not really anything spectacular, but it was a cool hike. And, uh, like I said, I wanted to see this for myself. So, to show your love, guys, please hit that like button. Smash that like button for me. Let me know that you love my videos and, you, and the, the trouble that it takes me to get to places like this. This one was a little extra out of the ordinary for me. A little extra work for, for something that wasn't so grand. But yet it was very interesting for myself to come and see uh, this location and to figure out why would somebody do this here. And, uh, and I have to say it's kind of interesting, but um, there's really not much to it. No. So if there is an easier way to get here, I'll let you know. But other than that, it was painstakingly awkward awful to get here my two feet are wet my pants are soaked i'm full of mud i'm sweating profusely i'm soaked with sweat and uh, all that for this yeah all that for this guys so i'm going to be sharing this on all my social media sites of course this is going to be also on my uh youtube channel and uh the little extra footage and photos that I'm going to take, I'm going to put that on my Patreon page as well. I might link this one to my Patreon and make it a public one as well. So I'll share it on YouTube and my Patreon page. Which, by the way, if you want to you know, help keep my channel going and help with some of my costs, um, you can make a small pledge um, on my Patreon page to help fund my explorations to keep things going. Um, I also have a link to my PayPal if you want to just send a little donation through there as well. Um, 
every little bit counts and every little bit is very well appreciated okay and if you do make any donations um, I will put your name on my credits for one of my videos or, or my latest video so that could be a little of uh, an, um, what do you say um, could be a little motivation for you guys um, to uh, help out my journey here so I'm going to continue taking some photos and that and then I'm going to call it a day and uh, and and I'm going to try also checking out another location if this location is viable you'll also see this in my on another video okay thanks for watching guys and I love you for watching come back again soon and uh, be a part of the urbex team all right ciao bell guys ciao bell Looks like I found some other stuff just laying around down here. Parts of trucks. I guess this is like a bit of a junkyard. The person who owns the property right here. Uh, you never know what you find. Bonus footage.